Hello, and welcome to Dr. B Plays Near Life Experience, the bonus episode. I have already played this game to completion. Um, as you may have seen, I've gotten all the... I don't have... What the fuck? Well, I did all these, and I actually do have all the evidence. I don't know why it doesn't sell it there. But, um, I have finally gathered enough evidence. I've actually done all this, so I'm not going to read all the text. I'm going to try to skip most of it and just speed through this. But the guy messaged me about how I got the crappy ending because I failed a quick time event. And seeing as it was so quick that I didn't even notice there was a quick time event, I, there's, I can understand how I failed it. But, we, we have to skip all this. Brief explanation here. Alrighty. This guy's me. I'm mystery. Love, life, hate, fact. There's also death who is on trial here. And foresight. Foresight died. They blame death because he's obviously death. Alright. But mystery says no. It is some, not her. And then we find out that fact killed foresight in this pretty pretty heartbreaking little sequence right here because he tried to destroy the eternity crystal in fact teleported him to the factory room which is like a prison but accidentally cut him in half then he wiped his own memory it gets kind of awkward but you get the general idea anyways after we go through all that Oh, also, life and death are new. They just made Earth, with ha which has a bunch of fishes. And they say, oh, well, that will bring in a new generation of gods. Because, you know. Yeah. And so then, it was going over pretty well until everything went to shit. Love goes loco. Life multiplies like a jackrabbit. And it turns out, death as dead. Which is actually quite heartbreaking after you go through all this crap to save her. But, moving on. We're good, last time I got the good ending where I was in prison for it. Don't do this to me! Come on. Come on. Please. Work. You're not gonna work, are you? Don't. D don't. Don't fritz out on me. Doesn't have anything that the game isn't supposed to fritz out on me. Son of a! All right, had to do that again. <clears throat> you know, for the best explanation, just watch my previous playthroughs. I narrated everything. I tried not to miss a single detail. You know, so that. And obviously, if you didn't tell by the title, this me explaining everything kind of spoils everything. Except for like the alternate, the good ending, which I didn't get. That's new to me. So let's go. Dot, dot, dot. No. This. Can't be. Dot. Death! This was the second dead body I had ever seen in eternity. The first time, everybody was so surprised by Foresight's murder that I had tried to stay calm. I could only see this as a case to solve, as a culprit to find. But this time was different. A person who was born not so long ago. A person who still had lots of things to discover person whom I had protected against unjustified accusation. When I saw what remained of her, I felt like everything had lost its sense. I felt useless, powerless. I felt empty. And then I started feeling rage. The rage was building up inside me. This time I knew who the culprit was. And unlike what happened with fact, this is not going to end up in a trial to decide the right from the wrong. This is going to be violent. By the way, um, if I didn't say it already, the culprit is hate. He can use people's powers against him. That's him. Mystery. Hate. What's an outlaw like you doing around these parts? I hate outlaws. I just have one question. I hate questions. Are you the one who killed death? Yes, it was me. That's all I needed to know. She threatened to destroy the crystal. 
and then she threatened to kill me. I hate threats, so I used her own power against her. You didn't have to kill her for that. She couldn't kill you even if she wanted to because of the crystal. You're wrong. I had to. It's my duty to protect the crystal. Also, if it's destroyed, who knows what will happen to regeneration. Your duty? You mean you got rid of death only to protect that thing? This crystal is the reason of my existence. In that case, both of you will have to be destroyed. I can use your immateriality powers to my advantage. Do you think you're fast enough to cut through me before I make you disappear? I'm not aiming for you. What? This is the quick time event, right? Yay! I win! You can suck it, hate. Your hatred is no match for my cutting shit in half ability. Whoopa! <laughs> this is the good ending. I win. You lose. So perhaps now you, everyone will die. This was kind of the only thing keeping all of us alive. So we're probably all gonna die. Impressive speed. But this won't be- What are you talking about? I cut that shit in half, you cheating son of a bitch. How? Don't- No. No. Put- I just- What? The crystal regenerated itself? I call hacks. Of course it did. After all, the eternal crystal is what keeps creation alive. He wouldn't leave it without lots of protection. So everything we did was useless. The Earthlings will never prosper? It looks like it. I hate the Earthlings anyway. For nothing. What is that you said? So Death died for nothing. Yes, he did. She couldn't have done anything. This... This is just unfair. How is this a good ending? So are you going to stop trying to destroy the crystal now? I hate it when you do that. I just... don't know what to do anymore. You don't need to do anything. Just go write a novel or something. Hi, fact. It's all over. Oh, fact. You came back. This guy tried to destroy the Eternal Crystal. You should erase his memories, or send him to jail or something. Mystery cannot destroy the crystal. <laughs> no, he can't. We are eternally safe now. We will all live forever. I hate not living forever. However, I can destroy it. What? Huh? What did you just say? I hate where this conversation is going. It's all over, hate. I will destroy the crystal now. Jots? What? Creation wants the crystal destroyed. Creation's orders are absolute. You can't do that. You can't. I can. I have. I have already destroyed foresight. Destroying the eternal crystal is something I can also do. Oh, come on. Why is everyone getting on my nerves today? You are all crazy. All of you. I hate crazy people. I need to get rid of the thing I hate. It will be interesting to see you try. You can warp me into pieces. I will warp the pieces back. You can erase my memories. I will get those memories back. You can also force me to tell the truth. It will be interesting to see you try. In the end, the crystal will be destroyed. Look. The eternal crystal is what keeps creation alive. You like creation, right? You don't want him to die, do you? What you say is right. I will be very sad if Father Creation dies. But just as your duty is to protect the crystal, my duty is to serve creation. We are... We are gods. Gods don't do what is good for their creator. Gods do what their creator asks them to do. We are created to serve a purpose. It must be it must be fulfilled. Otherwise, we do not deserve to even exist. You're crazy. God, what the hell are you talking about? Death can be viewed as a bad thing. But a god of death was created anyway. You must have noticed that all ideas are created by pairs. They cannot be love without hate. 
There cannot be truth without mystery. There cannot be life without death. And there cannot be creation without destruction. We need to destroy eternity in order to create the universe that creation always talked about. And I will do it now. Yay! What? What have you done? This piece of crystal will be placed in the fact room until its energies are entirely consumed. What? No! The crystal... It's... It's losing its color! What's happening? Why is everything going dark? Oh. And creation told me about those things. Those are stars! It means that light travels at normal speed now. Time has been restored. The... The crystal. Come on, stop whining. Try to see this as an opportunity to discover new things. Why are you so happy about? We cannot regenerate anymore. We are no longer immortals. And what's so bad about that? There are lots of worlds to explore. Real worlds, not just the novels I make. But there's also much risk. I hate risk. If you are scared, you can just stay around Earth. I'm sure that lots of interesting things will happen there from now on. We have witnessed the beginning of a universe. Nobody else will ever have this opportunity. I love opportunities! Hey, you're not dead! Love, you're here. Are you alright? Yes! I don't feel weird anymore. I feel... normal. The crystal is also what gave us our powers. Most of the things that hate did have been undone. However, death and foresight will never come back. You said that the Earthlings will soon create the new generation of gods, right? The Earthlings will create gods. I'm sure they can create foresight and death again. They will probably be different from the ones we know, but it's still something. We need to have hope. Hope, eh? I think... I think that I like this idea. I will hope for their return soon. I'm glad you understand. Woo! That was the good ending! And it was much longer than I thought it would be! That's okay, though. Obviously, Supmaster004, I think that was the number, is responsible for this sweet game. BGMusic.com. And uh, these guys and stuff. You know the drill. Credits are to credit people. That's how they work. Oh, you are welcome. I did not play... Holy crap, 78... Where is... I need to find them all. Well, most of them, at least. I did like this, though. It was very... It was like a novel, but it was a good novel. Unless you got the bad ending. In which case, it was a good novel with a bad ending. Not that the ending was bad, just... Morbidly horrifying. Of course, if you want to watch that ending, you can watch the playthrough where I do that ending. Because I lost that time. And you are welcome for playing. Thank you for making the game. Anyways... This is the end of the bonus episode of our near-life experience. It's been fantastic playing, and I hope that you enjoyed. Goodbye.